Hi guys. Today we are going to discuss about how we can add chapter to our custom modules. uh many of uh, many of us may i mean many of you may uh, aware of what is a charter actually those who didn't uh, have any idea about the charter i will uh, show you an example from the existing module here i'm taking a quotation here here you can see this is the charter in charter you can uh, see what are the changes that is occurred for a particular record okay in this you can see uh, for example quotation confirmed status changed from quotation to sale order and you can see which user has done that particular change and the other thing is you can send message you can log in or you can schedule activity okay you can attach uh, any documents regarding this particular document etc this is the i mean uh, main advantages of the charter okay charter talk i mean uh, uh, by using the charter we can track each and every record i mean each and every changes uh, that has been occurred for a uh, record and also um, in which date which user has cha- i mean uh, changed the particular field or uh, field value okay uh, so we can um, go to i mean uh, for for the um, for this demonstration i have uh, created a custom module charter demo in this uh, this is one of the record i have created uh, here you can see there is no charter i have i mean i have included no i mean i didn't included any charter here so um, i'm going to uh, show you how we can add charter to our custom modules I'm taking by charm here this is the model uh, that i have uh, created here you can see for that um yeah here you can see uh send a message lock note schedule activity and attachments so this uh, uh we can uh, have a look what i mean we can check what are the changes that will be i mean uh, coming upon changes in the code okay first of all in order to i mean uh, bring charta into our module uh, first we need to inherit the i mean mail dot thread module okay for the time being i am uh, i am uh, removing this okay and the second thing you want to do that in the uh, uh, the first thing is the in the models uh, uh, for which model you want to add the uh, charta in that model you want to inherit the mail dot thread module okay after that you want to add in the views we want to add this particular thing first one is the message follower theme message follower id and the second one is the message id okay under the class or each chapter the class uh, this should be i mean uh, this is same for uh, each and every i mean model there is no changes so you just uh, copy paste this give class is equal to each data field name is equal to message follower at least widget mail followers and the second thing message id is widget mail dot thread and so on yeah. after you uh, then now uh, i have already said uh, a, a, we can track each and every uh, changes that is occurring for a field isn't it whenever a field value changes there should be a uh, i mean um, tracking you know uh, what, what what was the previous value for that and all so in order to do that the second thing is the tracking attribute for each and every field name that we want to track we should define tracking equal to true 
we we should define tracking in the true we, we we want to add the tracking attribute to each and every field that we want tracking okay so um, in overall i have uh, i'll tell you what are the things that i have done in this i have added in the model uh, i have ordered inherit mail dot thread and i have added the attribute tracking equal to true for those model for those fields that i want tracking and also in the specific in the view of that uh, particular model i have um, added the div class is equal to old chatter this i mean div class or i mean uh, this particular div i have replaced there so i am going to restart can give automatic upgrade in the PyCharm itself. Uh, here I'm uh, going to add some upgrade in that. When you go to the charter, you can see <coughs> the charter. Uh, cha uh, uh, the charter is come in our charter demo module. So for the time being, I have added charter demo test. You can see uh, the uh, the machine admin that was the admin user changed the name to chapter demo to chapter demo test tracking. That is, I have already added tracking for this particular field. That's why it came like that. Okay, whenever a change is occurred for that field, the particular change has been uh, added in the log. Okay, uh, you can see there is something missing here. What is it? I mean, the, I mean, um, scheduling any activity from your record is missing here, isn't it? Compared to this, compared to our sales module, here we have scheduled an activity for this particular. Uh, there is a button for uh, scheduling an activity related to our record. Now we are going to discuss how we can add that uh, activity button also in our. Um, Okay, for that I'm adding dot activity dot mixing class here and in the chapter I mean in the view I'm adding this activity IDs uh, field the name equal to activity IDs in the chatter class I'm adding the uh, in the uh, chatter uh, team the activities ID field also so I'm going to we have an option for scheduling activity for this particular record okay this is uh, what are the options that are available for uh, available in our in O2 in order to uh, track and in order to make I mean, in order to make each and every operation very user friendly um, by using the charter i already said we can track keep track of each and every i mean each and every changes occurring for a record which user has changes i mean in which time etc and also you can option for sending message attaching documents uh, if you have any particular note for this particular i mean for the uh, other users you can add that and this is uh, uh, this is all about the chapter module I mean chapter uh, option available in Odoo. Thank you. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.